Uh, lots of folks also heading out of Rochester for the weekend. In fact, it is said to be one of the busiest travel weekends of the year. More than 148 million Americans are planning to leave home this Labor Day weekend, according to one survey. That's more than half the adults in the country. The influx of people traveling over the Labor Day weekend will face a gas average of more than $3.82 a gallon. While it's nearly the same as a year ago, AAA says it's higher than normal for the holiday. Meanwhile, the TSA has screened more than 227 million passengers since Memorial Day weekend, surpassing pre-pandemic records. And the agency expects to see another 14 million more by next Tuesday. They are, and uh, there is a possibility that we'll exceed pre-pandemic levels for uh, air travel. Um, and we are exceeding pre-pandemic levels for spending because um, everything costs more right now. It's a one of the it's a complicated weekend because not only are there weekenders like like us, but there are also people returning from long summer vacations. There are regular commuters, and one additional wrinkle is uh, parents taking their kids to college. Experts saying the best times to head out would be this evening or tomorrow morning. And when it comes time to come back home, Sunday evening is your best option. Please drive safe out there. And on the topic of travel, Governor Hochul announcing a temporary suspension on lane closures for road and bridge construction projects on New York State highways. The goal to ease some of that traffic congestion that is in effect until Tuesday. Also, state police are increasing their presence on roadways to crack down on impaired driving. The enforcement period is already underway, and that runs through Monday. Well, state officials aren't the only ones cracking down this holiday weekend. Rochester police also formulating their plans to keep the community safe. Officials say this includes an increased police presence in the bar districts in the city of Rochester. Officers will be on foot handling large crowds and on the roadways patrolling for those driving under the influence or of drugs or alcohol. Rochester police say this is something they prepared for. Because we know, with, especially with three-day weekends, with holiday weekends, uh, college students are coming back. There's a there's a lot of influx, so we know that typically this is a very busy weekend down in the bar district and in the entertainment district. Uh, Bellow adds, officers have created an operational plan and incorporated tactics that have worked in previous years, so they can be fully prepared for any potential situations. Officers encourage folks to celebrate responsibly, of course, so everyone can enjoy the weekend.